I'm here with a with a gentleman who probably need probably who doesn't need any introduction in this industry. Uh, Stan Banks with T-shirt side hustle. Yep. With decorator by nature. Decorated by nature. Yep. Any other anything else? No, that's pretty much it. Okay. That's so much it. so I'm sure everybody um, you know knows you. You do a lot for the industry. I yes. know. What were you up to this weekend here at the show? Uh, just speaking, I had a few different engagement impressions, speaking on Ink Kitchen and just meeting people. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. I thought I saw you on the Shop Talk, yep. doing some classes and stuff like that. Yeah, we talked yesterday about live printing. And okay. I, I know when we talked, that's one of the things that I wanted to do. And we had the guy from liveprinting.com here, uh, Barrel Maker Printing, okay. uh, and kind of got some advice from him on how to get started and what to consider. So it was actually a really, really interesting talk. Those are the ones I like when I can get something I also want to learn about yeah. and ask some questions for somebody doing that at a really high level. Yeah, yeah. So while I have you, t talk a little bit about, uh, well, I guess what's neat for me is I was able to work with you on some equipment yes. for the decorator, decorated by nature. Yep, yep, yep. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Man, you know, I, I stopped screen printing in 2020. Uh, and I was, you know, doing a lot around the industry and moving, so things came back and I wanted to start to educate people on how to actually take what they started as a side hustle to a professional level and kind of like get into their first spaces. And I figured the best way to do it is to show them how to do it, right? And I had done it before, uh, but after taking that time off, I wanted to get back into it. So that's when I, you know, reached out to you guys and we got me set up with a Workhorse Odyssey. Uh, I, I do got two small regrets. I didn't get a, um, I didn't get a squeegee holder. Okay. And I should have got the dryer. I should have <laughs> got the, the dryer cabinet. But nonetheless, um, you know, I, I love the machine. It's small. I well, how put about it this? In. Let's make that happen. We got a to. A squeegee rack and a drying cabinet. <laughs> we definitely okay, got right, to. Okay. It makes, you know, I didn't know until, when, when you do things the old way, like yeah. before you kind of like just jerry rig things, like right now I just sit them in the, the bathroom, the lights stay off or whatever the case is. But the speed of what you're doing and they, how fast you're able to do it with the right equipment, it really makes a difference in what's going on. Yeah. Um, but you know, I added a small retail space, 300 square feet, put the equipment in, set up really nice, and I'm back spinning the wheel uh, and going yeah. to work, going yeah. to work really, really hard on it and building a business back up from scratch. Uh, and I'm allowing people to come along and have conversations while I'm printing. Uh, and it feels good. Like, I've been doing this for now five years, okay. and people either they never knew I screen printed before, or they're like, man, what made you get back into it? So those conversations of people uh, sending me their registrations and all of the things that they're working on and asking advice has kind of brought me back to where I started. And uh, I think we're gonna grow uh, within the next year. I think we're gonna have some so good traction. So are you kind of um, in that kind of in a fresh start with, uh, I, I think of T-shirt side hustle, I think you did just a phenomenal job, like <laughs> kind of what you mentioned well, on the screen print side, but more for like transfers. Yes. And you just gave um, so much good information out to people in the transfer world, yep. right? So kind of, sort of, okay, early I on I was, early on I was screen print. Okay. But when I got my first heat press, I was like, man, because of how I got into it, I wasn't looking to become a screen printer by any means. I kind of ended up there. Um, so once I got my first heat press, I said I should have started this way. And that's why I was like, man, if you want to get into it, you can go so many directions, but this was an easier way to, for people to make money at home. And that's kind of why I started with that. You know, I think people don't realize that screen print is a trade, right? It's really, it, it was a trade. Now you can get into it easier these days, but it was a trade, something that you got to learn, you got to put the work in and you're gonna mess up and it's like the space and stuff that people, that make people apprehensive a little bit. Yeah. So now with the with the screen print shop going in, are you are you giving out that same type of information yes. for printers? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so again, your audience that was primarily, no, wrong, the audience that was really, you influenced with the heat press, now you can kind of transition them, hey, you did the heat press type of thing, here's how we're doing the screen printing now. Yep, precisely. Yeah. I've, I've done training already. Okay. Uh, I actually trained somebody one week. She came back the next week with a $1,500 job. She used my shop to print it. She came and she did pretty much everything but burn the screen on that one. And then she came back two weeks later with another $1,000 job and she did the entire process like by herself. Okay, so cool. that hands-on approach and really getting people to understand you go out and sell and you come back and you make it, but this process making it easier transition. So, you know, one of my goals is to be able to have people to come out and learn on the job. So, you know, you go to a class, you know, I attended the classes. The classes are great, but sometimes you just need that experience that if you didn't yeah. buy the equipment already, 
you need that experience to get the hands on and like, what does sure. it look like for me to do an actual I'm just gonna job? Just the same thing. Yeah, that hands on. You yep. might need just another. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's something that people got to get used to. Yeah. At the end of the yeah. day, I think the internet has made the industry so popular, but people don't even realize that it's work. Like workhorse is the great name. You know, yeah, like yeah. I look at it now, like I go to work on my workhorse. Okay. I'm a workhorse today because I'm knocking out 200 prints, you know, 100 prints or front and backs and all of that kind of stuff and take some time. Yeah, yeah. Well, great. Um, let's definitely keep sharing each other's stuff. It's yeah, fun. Indeed. I love seeing the stuff going on the workhorse uh, equipment and uh, squeegee rack, drying cabinet. Let's get that in there. And uh, thanks for stopping by and let's stay in touch and we'll talk soon. No doubt. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Yep.